So this week's responding to your comments is on cold sores. Zoe Hendricks asks, Abraham, please make a video on how to get rid of cold sores. I have a date next week and I've had a breakout. Well, what are we waiting for, Zoe? Hit that like button if you're fired up for this video, and let's begin. So, cold sores are caused by the herpes simplex type 1 virus. About 67% of the adults worldwide have the virus. It's very easily passed on through the moist inner layer skin of the mouth, commonly passed on through kissing. And sadly, here's the bad news, it stays dormant within a nerve sheath for a long time, and then a trigger happens which causes the cold sore blister. However, the good news is, I'm gonna teach you what to do to get rid of it. So, let's jump straight in. Okay, so let's dive straight into tip number one, acyclovir cream. This is our best defense at treating a cold sore, okay? And the trick is, you need to be super speedy with using it. And you're probably now thinking to yourself, what do I mean by that? Well, basically, as soon as you get your first symptoms of a cold sore, you need to be on it with the cream. So this means, as soon as you get those classic cold sore symptoms, the tingling, the hotness to touch, all that sort of stuff, you need to be on it with the acyclovir cream, because the sooner you use it, the more effective it's gonna be at reducing the time needed for you to recover. So if you don't have any acyclovir at cream at home, ready or ready to use, because you need to have it ready, go to your local shop, go to your local chemist and pick some up. That's the most important thing you need to remember. Okay, so moving on to tip number two, make sure you apply the cream properly. I'm not talking about using it as soon as possible here. I'm on about using it properly, the correct way to get maximum benefit. So let me give you a real life example. Let's say I have a cold sore here right now, okay? First thing I'm gonna do, wash my hands, then dry them. Next, I'm gonna apply the cream, dab it gently on the cold sore area, five times a day, okay? So every four hours approximately, you need to be dabbing it on, emitting your nighttime dose. Now generally, I recommend patients to use it for five days, but if healing hasn't occurred yet, you can use it for an additional five days, so 10 days in total. Please remember though, when you apply the cream, be gentle, just dab. Do not rub. If you rub vigorously, it's gonna get worse, it's gonna take longer to heal, and you don't want that. Okay, and jumping straight into tip number three, sounds obvious, but do not touch those cold sores. Don't pick them, don't touch them. All it's gonna do is make things worse, reduce recovery time, and make it spread, and I know you don't want that. And moving on to tip number four, cold sores can be notoriously painful, so if you are suffering from a lot of pain, consider taking paracetamol or ibuprofen, or always speak to your healthcare professional first to make sure you're safe and suitable to use any of the medicines discussed in this video today. Now, if you found this information helpful today, show some love and donate our team a cup of coffee. Simply click the thanks button below and donate whatever you can. Your support will help us create more medical videos just like this one, sending awesome vibes.